Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy, because you spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstardom. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do like folding a slice <laughs> of pizza in half, you know? <laughs> well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with big differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's what is he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Monster! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean super boy, Du Ho Chong. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. to lock the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Nice body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. And he counters with a left hand. 
big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Powerful leg kick lands. Overhand by Choi. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. And they separate. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beat his leg. finish. Oh, straight right. of his reach advantage there with that punch. Lands the right hand. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, perfect head kick there. Swing and a miss. Nice leg kick land. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That's a big strike right there. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Big head kick land. And there comes the separation now. Right on the button. Oh man, that cut is nasty. Back and forth we go. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, well, that's the end of the round, and the cut above his eye, ladies and gentlemen, has gotten really, really nasty. Prevailing wisdom is if it gets any worse, they are going to stop this fight. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out. But it does excite me for the next round. All right, so here we go with our next round, and there was a lot for him to like defensively in the previous round, almost as if he's one or two steps ahead of his opponent in terms of seeing the strike before it came his way. He did a great job of moving his head as his opponent was attacking. But then when his opponent tried to string combinations together, it was his block defense that was really saving the day for him. Nice strike. Shot to the body now blocked by Choi. Real quick leg kick. Try to establish that jab. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Effective punch there by Chor. And they separate. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Choi's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here, and starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Good punch land. Strong inside leg kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Nice kick. Whiffs off the straight right hand. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. You've got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. It's it. horrible. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Joy gets caught with that punch. Go for the takedown. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, that's a nice strike. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Attacking the body now, that shot blocked. 15 seconds to go. They continue to exchange. Kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Take a deep breath. Now listen. Probably lost that round. I need you to be first. Let's get that head movement and start popping that jab. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward.
Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice leg kick. Nice. Back and forth we go. Just out of range with that right hand. Got the single collar tie. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just out of the range with that right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, a huge block there. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. That one landed clean. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. That's a good strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. How about that chin? Oh, nice straight there. I guess that... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. He's hurt He's hurt bad. Oh, that diving punch landed. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. He can't even, he can barely stand. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. I need you to get oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fish. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. It's winding down in round three. What a round. All right, so there's the horn 
signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens. Very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Beautiful kick. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. There's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by the Korean Superboy. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice punch lands over the top. Ooh, and he caught the kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Straight right, he misses. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Checks the leg kick. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's OK. Just over three minutes to go now. Looking for that left hand, not there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. A big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. A couple of hammer fists now! Oh, he got him! He got him! High level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about the jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to... Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to arrest him. Chase that finish down now. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Beautiful punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Visibly limping here. Straight punch lands. He loaded up there on that high kick. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, big kick, Lance Flush. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice straight punch.
fight is over. He got it! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched up. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop for this contest at 4 minutes, 27 seconds at round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party today. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.